All right, guys and girls, it's Jernigan here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, <coughs> basically, breaking news from Russia forces, drop a bomb path on the Royal Navy. Basically, um, Russia forces have dropped a bomb near the British Navy. Pardon me. I've got a bit of a hangover today and my eyes are a bit sore. Talk, talk. You get super fast fiber broadband. Talk, talk. See these bloody annoying adverts. A Russian border patrol boat has fired warning shots at a Royal Navy destroyer, and a Russian plane has dropped four bombs in the path of the ship in the Black Sea. Russia's defense ministry says the confrontation took place near Cape Feuerland, a landmark on the coast of Crimea after the destroyer entered its country's territorial waters. Well, our foreign affairs editor, Deborah Haynes, joins me now. Uh, what, what do we know about where exactly this ship was and whether or not this action was justified? Well, actually, a, a defence source has just said to me that um, what actually happened is it's incorrect that the, um, the Russian ship fired at the, uh, the Royal Navy destroyer, but was actually conducting um, a gunnery exercise some three miles away. So I think we're going to get a bit more clarity coming from the Kent, Ministry of UK. Defense. We haven't had um, a full statement from them yet. We've been relying on what the Russian Defense Ministry has been saying, and they've been quoted as, as saying that uh, HMS Defender, this Type 45 destroyer, which is in the area, it has been um, visiting Ukraine, um, that it entered Russia's territorial waters, but I'm told that no, the waters it was in were international waters. Clearly, the annexation of Crimea and the territory, the, the, the sovereignty of the waters yeah. around that area um, are disputed. Um, but whatever the, uh, the actual argument over the logistics of what happened, clearly, um, it's, it's provocative, even if the ship wasn't directly fired at, as the Russian Defence Ministry is claiming, um, the fact that these exercises were taking, away, taking place so close to a transiting uh, Royal Navy ship is, um, is clearly going to be seen from the UK side as, um, as, a, as a provocation. From the Russian side, I imagine they'll see the, um, the presence of that d destroyer um, as a provocative act by the UK. So it's a, a very tense um, uh, uh, situation between the two sides. And I think we're waiting really to, to hear what the, um, the Ministry of Defence has to say to give their version of events. At the moment, we really are just relying on what the Russian Defence Ministry is saying. Alright, see. <coughs> <coughs> Got a bit of a sore throat today, but you can see what it's been saying. Oh, I could cough up phlegm. Anyway, I better end the video. <coughs> anyway, thanks for joining me. Peace. Got a sore throat. Everybody has a sore throat. Just bloody phlegm in my mouth. Anyway, see you next one. Peace.